quite a lot of people who first hear about Math Pathways feel that it's all computer generated and the computer teaches the child, which is totally incorrect. Yes, there's a video to help them, but they peer teach, they self learn, and most importantly, I think very valuable learning is in the rich tasks and the mini lessons because that's where the learning takes place in the conversations that you have. I really want to become a professional football player. If you want to get good at soccer, there are three things you're going to have to do. You're going to have to just practice your footwork. You need to actually go by yourself and do drills with the ball. It needs to be in your body at some point. And it's sort of the same with math. You just keep working till that clicks in your head and like you get it right. And this is how the Maths Pathway program is built as well. The modules are like the solo practice. That's just about getting the skills into your body, getting them to be second nature. They'll come in, sit down, get themselves ready, make sure they have a red pen, a blue pen, they've got a charge device, they've got their book, they're ready to go. Making those connections that you can just pull these out when you need them. The modules are targeted at their level, at their point of need. You can see how much further they're moving down the continuum. Then we'll come back together and we generally do an energizer. It's like a time to have a five minute break and reset your mind on a different math subject. And then there's the mini lessons, which is like that squad practice where you say, hey, we've got a little group, we're all working on the same thing. Let's see if we can get this together. Let's see if we can work together and figure out how to use each other and help each other and really understand this in a deeper way. If you're stuck on a module, then you get to do a mini clinic to help you with that. We can explicitly focus on that topic with maybe two or three other students. The old school chalk and talk, I guess, but we're doing it with small groups. There's so much evidence and data that we're provided in so many ways, but it can't be applied to what you're doing in the classroom tomorrow, whereas the data that we get from Pathways can be. What it's enabled me to do is plan mini lessons that are really going to cater for certain small groups of students, because I know where they're at sit down together, work through the concept. We got out some tools to kind of help us to build a visual map of how to complete the module. There are these things that you do to practice in a more directed way with the team, with more coaching. It allows us to group kids and to explicitly meet them where they're at. And finally, there is the rich tasks, and that is the game. And that's where you bring everything together, where you use each other, where you use the skills you've been practicing. It's sort of like a mini lesson, but different. It's like more hands-on playing with stuff. I don't think of it as being maths, I just think of it as a fun activity. But they are incorporating everything they know about maths at the same time. It allows me to talk as though maths is a very practical, real part of the world. You've got to actually get out there and do the real thing. There's no explicit outcome. We're not expecting you to you know, build a giant sandcastle or we're not expecting you to do anything with it. We just want to see where you can go. Trying to bring that challenge and the question back into it, um, sparking their curiosity and again, bringing those light bulb moments. And you actually do the math. You have the rich learning experience that makes the whole thing worth it. <laughs>